TaxSeq is really the culmination of ChipSeq. So it's, it's a really great way to look at um, open chromatin in cells or any samples that, that you want to investigate. And if you think about one way we really describe it is if you look at a city skyline, any individual skyscraper can be a ChipSeq peak. H3K27 acetyl, um, H3K36 methylation. So any individual building is, is a mark, but if you take the skyline as a whole, that entire silhouette is, is a taxi. So really it's the, the sum of all chip seek peaks. A taxi is, is really telling you what chromatin is open and accessible. Um, so wherever um, the chromatin is, is open and available for transcription factors or other enhancer activity where chromatin dynamics can occur. Um, this is really what's telling you what chromatin is active um, within uh, in the cell and in, within the genome. So one of the difficulties with ChIP-seq is really the input requirements uh, to get a solid ChIP-seq, especially for some more rare or more specific antibodies, you need a lot of input, you know, millions of cells. A tax seek is, is very sensitive and you're able to get information with as little as, in some cases, even 10,000 cells. Um, Active Motif, we, as a service, we recommend 100,000 cells, but you can go lower, especially, and this is very powerful for investigators, especially in a clinical sense where you might have very rare, difficult to obtain samples. And, and we've seen very robust and successful attack seek from as low as 10,000 cells. Um, so that's a really big advantage over ChIP-seq where sometimes it's impossible to obtain 10 million cells. Um, also, the, um, just the sensitivity and, and the ease of, of the assay. So ChIP-seq, there's a lot of QC that's involved. We really want to make sure that the chromatin yields are very good, that the antibody binding is very strong to get really clean, robust data, whereas a TAC-seq is, is really quick and easy. It's a one-step process, Gypsy can take multiple days, whereas a taxi you can get um, sample to library in as few as four to six hours and sequence that same day. So it's a very quick, quick and easy assay with very little input. A taxi is, is really great for investigators that are interested to know if epigenetics and speci specifically uh, chromatin dynamics plays a part in in your disease, in your model of interest. Um, it's a really great exploratory assay. Um, so you don't necessarily need a target, um, whereas ChIP-seq, you need to hone in on a specific mark that you might be interested in. Whereas a tax seq really, you're just looking at what is open, and then you can go and investigate further um, based on what your results. So it's a great exploratory interest if you're looking to see if, if epigenetics and, and chromatin is playing a part in the disease modality um, a tax seek is great because it's quick and easy. As I said, um, it, it is the culmination of all chip seek marks. So once you get a tax seek data, you can then go in and find uh, you know specific motifs that might hint at other chip seek marks to do in, in future um, future assays. Or if, as uh, as is often the case, if material is, is difficult, you can follow up with cut and tag, for example, on specific marks. Um, and so a taxi is a really great first start into epigenetics and is a great assay to, to find out if, if epigenetics is really um, a, a driver in disease.